is the mate. Marine technician internship at University of Delaware with the RV Sharp. I'm going to bring you in here to show you my bunk area. You can see on the ground my bag that I brought with me. We had sheets and pillowcases along with blankets and towels provided for us. Board shorts were not included actually. So I'm going to show you around the corner here to the sink where we could brush our teeth, wash our face. And that's me, Frankie Stanklitz. Nice to meet you. I'll show you around here. Of course, we have a time, which is very important. We also have satellite TV, which shocked me. I have a computer out front. And we also have a telephone for communication with the bridge. So I'm going to bring you past here. I'm going past the airtight door. We have the engine room behind us. And I'm going to show you the bathroom to our left here. That is the sink and the toilet and the sink and another toilet, which is going off, obviously used here. And along with the two showers. One shower with beautiful grippy pads on the ground and the same grippy pads on the other shower. And as always, we have an escape hatch just in case. So I'm going to bring you in here to the wet lab here where the CTD platform is so we can bring in and out. And this is the marine technician's room. We have our CTD, ADCP, uh, the Newton computer. And nav, and these are all the computers that process all the data while we're doing this, and of course our wonderful printer. We also have the dry lab here, which we did various projects in here, um, scan fish, um, other things with the Navy. Here's the Navy technician, um, just briefing me on some stuff that might help me in recovering the, in recovering the mooring that we deployed. There's one of the moorings. That we have right here, and here's an acute piece of acoustic equipment that was attached to one of the moorings that we're bringing up. And the anchors we did not bring up because they had acoustic releases on them, so that wasn't so important. This is what the process was when we were going through and doing the CTD things. Go ahead and bring her on board. So we're about to bring her on board, and this one actually we had light bulbs attached to it for the acoustic instruments in the water. These are cardboards that I was filling off the coast for the University of Delaware's professor. And I just would like to thank the University of Delaware and the MAIDS program for allowing